Thanks, Damon. Thank you, Mrs. Casey and the 8th grade band for that great rendition of Pop and Circumstance in the Star Spangled Band. Right now, I would like to welcome Dia Patel and Jacob Hanna, our top two scholars for the 8th grade, saying of the Pledge of Allegiance. Jacob and Dia. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Johnstown Junior High School 2021 Promotion Ceremony. Thank you, everyone, for joining us and supporting our students. Congratulations, Class of 2025. You overcame many challenges this year to get to this point. You should be extremely proud of your accomplishments. You are now high schoolers. What does that mean, being a high schooler? It means that you have made it past the awkward stage of your life. That's not true though. We all have our own little quirks and you should embrace them. Embrace who you are with confidence. That is what makes you who you are. And don't change that because you all have your own great little quirks. What else does it mean? It means you will become more independent. It means you are closer to getting your license or even getting a job. Yes, absolutely. You may be on track of joining a varsity sport or being the symphonic band, or you may end up being on this field as your senior class president, wishing your classmates well as you graduate. You will develop new friendships Enjoy the homecoming dance and pep rallies. You might even fight over a boy or a girl. Being a high schooler means many things, but you can only create your own story for the next four years. I've been going to high school for over 20 years now, so I can give you a few simple tips to enjoy your experience. Work hard every day. The benefits of working hard outweigh the stress of wishing you tried harder or completely ignoring the task that never goes away. Be kind to everyone, even when others might not be kind to you. You will feel better about it, and being kind takes zero effort. Lastly, enjoy every moment. You will blink your eyes and you'll be on this field again in 2025. It goes by fast. As Peter Pan said, once you're grown up, you can't come back. Peter Pan was correct, so enjoy it. Congratulations, class of 2025, and best luck as a high schooler. To discuss scholarship, I would like to call up Austin Brown to the podium. Good evening, students, teachers, and families of Johnstown. Tonight, I am here to discuss scholarship. The dictionary defines scholarship as learning, knowledge acquired by study, the academic fulfillments of a scholar. To me, being a good scholar means being smart, being able to get your work done, and being able to get good grades. Being a good scholar doesn't necessarily mean getting high 90s every quarter in every subject. It means having the capability to be intelligent dedicated or hardworking enough to be successful in school or later on in life. There are many moments as a student that you need to be a good scholar for. Some examples are if you want to pass high school and earn your diploma or if you want to be able to get into a good college or even earn a scholarship. As an adult you need to be a good scholar as well if you want to get a good job like a doctor or a lawyer or if you just want to be successful in general. Even in sports, you have to be a good scholar if you want to excel. In football, there are many plays you need to study. For example, if you want to be a wide receiver, you need to memorize the routes. 
Later, if you play college football or in the NFL, then you should study your opponents to find their weak points as well. Plus, if you want to be a successful player, then you have to be dedicated and want to succeed. Former Green Bay Packers coach Vince Lombardi, one of the greatest NFL coaches of all time, once said, winning is not everything, but making the effort to win is. What Coach Lombardi meant was that you need to actually try in order to succeed. Anyone can be a good scholar as long as you put in the time and hard work needed to prosper. As we enter high school, scholarships are needed to accomplish our goals. High school will go by in the blink of an eye, so make these next four years your best. I hope you all have a great summer. Fantastic job, Austin. Our next speaker is Gabby Martinez, and she will be talking to us about leadership. Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us today. If you had asked me what leadership was in third grade, I would have simply stated that it's a line. And no, I'm not talking about the line that we used to draw a square, a circle, or even a triangle. I am talking about a line of people, of which there must always be one person at the front of it. I have this vivid memory of making my way to the front of the line so that I could be the line leader. I had always wanted to be first in line, to be the one that everyone followed while we walked the halls of Green Street. Since then, my idea of leadership has evolved. Now leadership to me is shown in seemingly simple things like being an active participant in group projects and extracurricular activities, being the person who takes charge, leads, and guides peers with ideas and motivation. This to me is the true definition of being a leader. While writing the speech, a thought kept reoccurring in my mind. How does one become a leader? They must have someone to show them the way. How many potential leaders are out there but never reach their true potential because they never had someone to show them in the way? At that point, I realized just how lucky in life I got. I think I must have hit the parent lottery because I didn't get just one great parent, I got two to show me the way. When I was four years old, my parents decided to make a better life for my brother and I and moved to America from Puerto Rico. They came without any knowledge of the language or the culture. They struggled and endured and day by day, things got a little better. Because of them, I never thought of life as being a struggle. They always seemed happy and never complained. Now, 10 years later, both of my parents are leaders in their position. My dad is a master sergeant in the Air Force and my mom is a manager at a signed company. When I think of how this happened for them, I realize that they never gave up. They always spoke up about things that didn't seem right to them and they always treated everyone with respect, no matter the circumstance. They became leaders because they chose to stand in the front of the line, just like me. So mom and dad, thank you for teaching me how to be a leader and thank you all for being here tonight. Excellent, Gabby. I would like to now call up Tessa Harvey to discuss character. and teachers for coming tonight as we celebrate our eighth grade promotion ceremony. This evening, I would like to talk about character. What is character? In English class, character means the combination of features and traits that form the individual nature of some person or something. All living things have their own unique character that sets them apart from others, including teachers, students, parents, and even animals. But being a character and having character are two different things. So what does it actually mean to have character? Yes, character is a mixture of features and traits and so on, but overall having character is something way more than that. The true meaning of having character is that someone thinks of you as being a person who has morals or an ethical quality. Other good qualities include honesty, courage, and integrity. This can be presented in various ways. For example, when you stand up to a bully, you show courage and help those around you. Also, when you tell the truth for something you have done, you show honesty. Your character could be as simple as expressing yourself. Character is important because it determines how well you achieve your goals, how well you work with others, and shows your strengths and weaknesses. This, e this is important in everyday life since it defines your behavior and abilities to work in real life situations and is proven upon in high school. So what does this have to do with high school? In high school, there's a 
abilities are tested and passed, to ready you for the real world. Or in the future, you could get certain jobs that you would like to get and achieve one day. John Wooden once said, ability can take you to the top, but it takes care to keep you there. Lastly, I would like to thank Ms. Palladino, my teacher, my parents, and my brother for helping with this speech. I hope everyone has a very good day and a very good summer. Thank you. Thank you, Tessa. Great job. Our final student speech is by Jacob Hanna, and he will discuss his responsibility. Hello and good evening to you all. I hope everyone is having a great day so far, and I would like to thank you all for coming to the 8th grade promotion ceremony. I'm going to talk a little bit about responsibility. To me, responsibility means four things. One, taking care of yourself. Put your body and feelings first if you're struggling. Eat healthy, exercise, and talk to someone if you're sad. Two, taking care of others. If someone is hurt or sad, help them, cheer them up, and talk to them. My mom has always told me to treat people how you would like to be treated. Three, doing the right thing when no one's watching. Integrity. For example, if a te teacher, parent, or coach walks out of the dugout, you shouldn't be deceitful, disobey them, or fool around. Four, be a leader, not a follower. As soon as I was old enough to understand, my dad has been telling me this. It means to pave your own path and use your best judgment on following others. For example, if your friends were to go do something that you know in your heart is wrong, you make that uncomfortable decision amongst peer pressure to not follow and try and persuade those that are to not make that decision. Being responsible takes work because you don't always feel like doing what you know you should be doing. There are consequences to being responsible and irresponsible. Such consequences are grades, yours and others' well-being, whether or not you get a job or promotion, etc. I feel that I've been responsible because I put a lot of effort into, into school. Also, outside of school, I've set an alarm, taken care of myself, done chores, helped others, and led myself in the right direction. I would also like to say that mistakes, accidents, and irresponsibilities do happen. Everyone messes up at times, but it's all about admitting you messed up, forgiving yourself, and moving on. Although I worked hard for this award, I owe a lot of the credit to my parents as well as the rest of my family. They have taught me what it takes to be responsible and how to be a good person, which includes responsibility. I would also like to thank my teachers for a great school year and for giving me this award. I thank all of you for your time, and I hope all of you have a great summer. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you very much, and congratulations to our four student speakers. Those were very impressive speeches, and I know it takes a lot of courage to stand up there in front of your peers and do that. And now for our presentation of promotion certificates, awards, and roses. Helping us with tonight's uh, presentation, we have Mrs. Baggett, our assistant principal, and Mrs. Gloria Bruno, who has dedicated many years to this district and will be retiring this Friday. Along with their certificates and awards tonight, each graduate will receive a rose. The presentation of a rose is sponsored by the PTSA to carry on a tradition established by Mrs. Rose Knox, who gave a rose from her own garden to each participant. Also in the back of your promotion programs, you will find the description of all the awards we'll be handing out to, to tonight's future ninth graders. At this time, I would like our first row to stand up. Emily Anderson. Caitlin Anderson, high honor roll.
Gabriel Aponte. Nathaniel Austin. Alexis Baker. David Born. Yasleen Brace. Marley Bramer, the American Legion Award, the Santa Memorial Award, high honor roll. Noel Brower. Austin Brown, the Robert L. Dawson Award, high honor roll. <laughs> Elliot Brownell. <laughs> Riley Bubolt. <laughs> Caden Bice. <laughs> Mariah Campbell. Ella Clemens, Jonathan Corley, Joshua Corley, Deanna Cross, the Morning Clark Student Achievement Award, my honor roll. Jaden Curry, Genevieve Dillenbeck, Music Director's Award, Choral Director, Leah Dumas, Noah Eaton, High Honor Roll, Joseph Ercolino, Emma Flores, Aiden Fonda, Rihanna Fonda, Robert Franklin, Owen Garrity. Adriana Godabet. Mason Gray. Jacob Hanna, New York State Attorney General Triple C Award, the Robert L. Dawson Award, the Milton E. Zoner Award, the Adam Safferman Memorial Award, the Art Award, the Principals Award, High Honor Roll. Austin Harrington, the Burton A. Beck Student Council Award. Peyton Harrington, the Burton A. Beck Student Council Award. Tessa Harvey, the Albert E. Jewell Award, the Art Award, High Honor Roll. Jack Kohout, Music Director's Award, Band Director, High Honor Roll. Hayden Laird, High Honor Roll.
Landon Lair, the JJSHS PTSA Award. Oh, high honor roll. Kayla Lake. Casey Lamori, the American Legion Award, the Betty Green Mathematics Award, high honor roll. Gage Lodestro. Solimar Lopez. Tristan Lugo. Sierra Lundquist. Jacob Moss. Andrea Manners. Gabriela Martinez, the Albert E. Jewell Award, high honor roll. Daphne McCann. Reese Mackinac. Ava Morehouse. Cheyenne Morrison. Quentin Morse. Allison Newkirk. Skyler Nichols. Alandra Hadi, the Robert Catangelo Memorial Award, high honor roll. Aiden Ostrander. <laughs> Natalie Parker. <laughs> Ahil Patel, high honor roll. <laughs> Dia Patel, the American Association, Association of Women Award, the Principals Award, high honor roll. Naven Pisecki. Gianna Pika. Nathan Porter. Benjamin Reed. Aiden Richards. Haley Rising. <laughs> Bianca Rohr. Macy Rose, the Marjorie Lucas Award. <laughs> Liam Sheldon. <laughs> Joseph Sims. Kylie Sitterly. 
Brandon Smith. Leanna Snyder. Janiah Spriggs. Annabelle Stiegel. Yeah. Lindsay Sweet, high honor roll. Yeah. Madison Tierney. Yeah. Oliver Tomchick, high honor roll. Nicholas Valkovic, the Robert Picangelo Memorial Award. Jonathan Vandal Walker. Zoe Van Etten, high honor roll. Melina Van Ostrin. Marianne Bostein. the JJSHS Faculty Award for Scholarship. Tyler Walrath. Devin Ward. Molly Wilcox, the JJSHS Faculty Award for Citizenship. The Milton E. Zoner Award, high honor roll. Brody Williams. <laughs> Natalie Williams. <laughs> Mercedes Windecker, the New York State Attorney General Triple C Award, PTSA Rose Knox Award, high honor roll. Hayden Wood. Yeah, Molly Young. Yeah, Molly. Aubrey Zajikowski. Yeah, this time, I would like to ask all 8th graders to stand. In closing, I would like to thank everyone for coming tonight to support our students. I am amazed and proud of all of our students and their accomplishments. Congrats to our class of 2023. You are now officially high schoolers. <laughs>